Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. In this video, I just want to show a real cool, quick little trick that you can add into your game development process. And that's a simple snap to the ground option. So here I just hit Control G to ground them. They can be below the ground, above the ground. I can even have multiple of these ducks up and kind of offset a little bit. And I want to place them on the ground. Hit shit, Control G, and they all snap right down. Now to set this up, all I need is a single editor script in an editor folder. So here you see I have this in scripts slash editor, and there's a snap to ground script. And the way it works is there's a menu item created with this hotkey of control G. The percent in G just means control G is the hotkey. Now if we look in the editor, you'll see that here under custom, snap to ground. So it's the same as me clicking that when I hit control G. Let's jump back over to the code real quick and just see how it works. So what we do is go through all of the transforms in the selection.transforms array. So this is all of your selected transforms in the hierarchy. Then we do some raycasts. So we raycast from the current position plus one meter up. So that way if it's a little bit below the ground, we can pull it up. But if it's too far below, we're not going to catch it. Then we do it in the direction of down. So we're just shooting down. And we go about 10 meters. If it's more than 10 meters away, it probably isn't a valid target for snapping. It's probably way off and shouldn't be going all the way down that far. Then we loop through all of the hits. So Raycast all gives us back an array of hits. And we just make sure that the Raycast didn't hit the same game object, didn't hit itself. So we don't want like the duck to raycast down and then hit itself and then pop up to where its head is. So if the first hit happens to be itself, we just continue on until we get another hit that's not the self. In which case we do transform.position equals hit.point and then we break out of the loop because if we hit something else below that or after that, we really don't care. We just want to make sure that we didn't hit ourselves, And that's all there really is to it. So. If you want to use this, the code is freely available. Just click the link down below, you'll be able to grab it, and then just, again, control G to move your guys around, drop them to the ground. All right, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching.